I'm Texie Gregory, and I'm on the Seattle Pacific University gymnastics team. Texie, you uh, had a home meet tonight against UC Davis, uh, had a very good score for the team. Your thoughts on tonight's meet? You know, I thought we had a great night. We started out really well. Allie started us out on vault, and she stuck her landing, and from there we were just hoping to build, and I think we did. And it's it's great having home meet. It's just the crowd being there. We love it, so it's exciting. Unfortunately, this was the team's last home meet of the season and the last home meet for eight seniors, including yourself. What were the emotions like tonight? You know, for the most part, the seniors were just trying to treat it as one more home meet and another opportunity to get out there and do what we do. And I think that we were able to do that successfully and just keep our emotions um, hidden, not so to speak, but in control. And it was, it was fun. You had a fantastic bars routine tonight, scored a career high 9825. <laughs> um, before you uh, took to the apparatus, were there any thoughts about this being your last performance at Brown Pavilion? Um, again, you know, trying to keep that in the back of the mind. It's a little bit, when you're watching your teammates up there, like Sam going and uh, the other seniors, you're like, wow, this is their last, this is their last time. But it's, you got to keep it together, mentally strong, and just hearing your teammates cheer for you really helps you keep your head in the game. You certainly saved your best for last. Talk about wh why you got such a high score on that bars routine. You know, we've actually been making a few changes to the routines. Um, I spent yesterday correcting a huge, huge error, and I think that paid off today. And it really is the small things that make the biggest difference. You've been the team's top bars performer all year and been very consistent. What is it about you, or what is it that makes a good bars performer? Um, I try to go into practice and hit every set, whether I'm doing cover-ups and just getting through a routine. It's, it's hard work, and again, having my teammates there to support me really helps, and I know that they're counting on me, so I'm just trying to do my best for them. You obviously still have some time left in your collegiate career, but is there a memory, or, or either individually or team-wise, that sticks out to your career to date? You know, I think... Every time that first home meet when people come out and you've been seeing them work so hard and they just hit that first set at a home meet, it, it just gets you going for the season. It really amps you up. And I think that we've seen that on beam this year, people hitting sets and on bars, and it's just all coming together now. And I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season and just all the great memories that I've had. Talk about now finishing up the season uh, on the road. Uh, what's the team going to have to do to be successful? You know, we're really going to have to stay together as a team and keep the focus on the bird, as we say, where we are only watching our, our teammates as we're competing. And as long as we stay together as a team, I think we're going to be successful. Lastly, uh, talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing after this season uh, next year. Um, I actually don't graduate until December. I'm an international business major here, and international business majors are required to study abroad for a quarter. And so I'll be going to China in August, and I'm really excited about that. I get to spend four months there, and after China, um, I don't know, find a job hopefully. I'd love to stay in Seattle, stay with the program any way I can. It's, it's, I, I love it here. Great. Thanks very much.